Hey guys, how are you today? So I have kind of a little experiment. I thought I would just try and record for you guys. Uh, a while back I was given some Brusho uh, watercolor crystals. It's a powdered watercolor pigment. Um, and I was gifted them in these little bags. They come in jars. And I don't know how many colors there are, but I have three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight colors. These were gifted to me from Lou Jean Martin. Thank you, Lou Jean. And um, I'm finally getting around to doing something with them. Um, so anyway, it got me thinking when I was doing all these watercolor experiments that, you know, hey, I've got those brushos around somewhere. Before I get too far with them, I wanted to try something. So last night, I took a teeny tiny bit of the scarlet color and I put it in my little palette here, activated it with water, and then let it dry. Because I wanted to see if they were reconstitutable after they were dry, like a regular watercolor, and if they were how hard it was to get it to um, reconstitute. So I have no idea. I know nothing about brushos, um, except for what you all have said to me, um, Lou Jean, in, in Happy Mail, <laughs> and a couple other people since then. So I have a little scrap piece of paper here, and let's, this brush is wet, so let's see what happens. Look at that! Because I had a specific idea for these paints. It looks like they reconstitute and dissolve in the water again very well. And look how bright that scarlet color is. Now when I activated it originally, I just did it with only uh, water. So now I want to do another experiment. I need another little stick. And I'm going to use gum arabic as soon as I find it. I have some somewhere. Is that it? Yep. So gum arabic is a binder, traditional binder used in watercolor paints. If I just activate them with water and let them dry, they might crack and, and, you know, turn back into powder. But I'm wondering if I kind of, if I use the gum arabic and it dry, and I mix it up and then let it dry, can I then mix these up and put them in a palette and let them dry and have them in a palette instead of these little bags? You see where I'm going with that? So let's see. Let's get... This. We'll use the same color. We'll use Scarlet. I also don't think the gum arabic will do anything to the pigment, but I mean, I guess you never know. A little bit goes a really long way, I found last night with these. They're really strong. So I don't think it's my imagination to say that it looks like a much darker, that's about the same amount of the powder I put in there with the water last night, and it seems like it's a little bit darker. That's my rag. Alright, let's get our brush and let's blot it, and then, yeah, it, look how much more vibrant it is if you mix it with gum arabic. It actually looks very much like the color of fresh blood. <laughs> I, hate to, I hate to make that comparison, but that's what it looks like to me. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to let this dry. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry, and I'll be back and we'll see what it looks like after it's dried, and then we're going to kind of like turn this over and like tap it and see, you know, if it crumbles, it does it re-wet with water, that sort of thing. So I will be right back after this is dry. All right, we're back. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> So our brushos that we mixed with um, gum arabic are dry-ish. The center part's still a little wet, but the edge is completely dry. So what we're going to do is take our card that we used before, and I'm going to just, this is um, a Pentel water brush. And it, you know what, it re-wets just like regular watercolor. 
Look at that. Turn the view screen on the camera so I can see what you're seeing. There we go. So I love that. So in an, the next video for brush shows, um, look for me to have taken all of my brush shows and mixed them with some gum arabic into a palette. I don't know what palette yet because I have to figure out where I'm going to put them. And um, we'll make a brush show palette that we can play with um, in our um, product review swatch book. If you have some sort of powdered pigments like these, brush uh, pigments that are intended to be water soluble, um, there's no reason why you can't mix them with a binder like gum arabic and turn them into something that you can have permanently in a palette instead of having in a jar or a baggie. <laughs> um, something that's already ready to go and ready to paint with. So there you have it. I have fun with that and um, yeah, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. These are going to be fun to play with. Look at how bright this red is. I love it. All right. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Just think about supporting me and my YouTube channel, uh, my Facebook group, and all of that by shopping in my Etsy shop or hitting the support button on my YouTube channel's main page. That's it for today. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.